being with your presence is already magic. It's total magic to me. So I just want to ask something of relevance to most of the people here instead of my very specific question. So since we mentioned magic, do you mind elaborating a little more about magic and the miracle? Because um, I committed this year as a year of magic to myself, and I believe this cruise is the launch of my wonderful trip to magic. But when people think of magic and miracle, we always feel they're a couple of steps away still from us. At this stage, uh, we can feel very good about ourselves, but in order to advance further, so we really need to aim higher and higher. So how do we feel? Would you mind elaborating about the concept of magic and miracles? And also, when I talk about miracle, there's a book called A Course in Miracle. So obviously, <laughs> there is a difference between the miracle explained in that book and the magic it seems you are talking about. So is there a difference between this magic Magic and miracle, and how we can everybody can live a life of pure magic and miracles. We are happy to have this conversation, but before we move forward into the subject, it would be of value for us to present our definition of these words that you are using, because in the word magic, there is an element of something outside of me positively affecting me, which is not what we teach, and in the Attitude of miracle, there is a scarcity of it that is not what we teach. And so, in both of those words, for most people, we don't feel it in you, but as we are conversing with the entire universe simultaneously, we really want to clarify that if you are going to think in terms of magic and miracles, you must take the shortage consciousness out of it. It is not a miracle for law of attraction to respond to you, and it's not magic either. And it's not magic for you to deliberately set your vibrational tone to which the law of attraction will respond. We want you to use the terms normal magic or obvious, normal, seemingly previously thought of as scarcity and miraculous things. In other words, a miracle implies hardly ever happens. Oh my, it's a miracle. And there is so much in that consciousness around that that sometimes people who so much want the miracle that they make way more trouble for themselves than is necessary on their way to their miracle. Do you know what a miracle really is? A miracle really is my normal life causing me to evaluate the contrast that surrounds me and my normal life putting desire into my vortex, but then my normal thoughts holding me apart from it and holding me apart from it. So I want it, but I'm apart from it, but I want it, but I'm apart from it. I think about it sketchingly, but mostly I think in opposition to it. And then something happens for a moment in time where I'm distracted from my normal thoughts. So in an unusual way for me, in terms of the way I usually spend my life, I allow myself to allow what I'm asking for. So I let it in, unnatural to me, and then... Ta-da! It's a miracle. And we say, no, it isn't a miracle. It's a lapse in normal resistant thought. So we know this isn't where you were going, but the headline that we would promote is, a miracle is a lapse in my normal resistant thought. And if everybody were understanding that and everybody were letting their well-being in so that miracles aren't so scarce, then they wouldn't call them miracles anymore, would they? They'd find something new to call them. So we are happy to have this conversation and in no way wanting to dissuade you from the positive way you look at the world. There's no subject that is off limits and there are no words that are inappropriate. It's just that when you introduce a common word into this conversation, the way most people are thinking about that word is something that must be considered in our explanation. Okay Thank with you? Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. Thank you.